Yo guys, sorry you already know today we are back playing some more Lies of P. Uh, on the last time, I made a decent amount of progress through uh, the Workshop Union area. I'm actually back at this uh, Stargazer because I now have this shortcut, which gets us over here a lot faster than the other direction. So I can just run through those enemies. Uh, I, I died to a boss that's really not even hard, but I'm going to have to try and... Uh, do this again. I do think that my weapon is not the best for this, but oh gosh I also think I need to just not Oh, I probably could have gotten a backstab off. Hold on. Maybe I should try going for that Take that I'm trying to perfect guard Do you ever stop? What the heck? I'm not crazy, right? Y'all y'all saw that like nine that nine uh hit combo, right? Okay, that did some damage, I guess. Come on. Two four You missed. All right, I'll just dodge away from you. Told you this guy is not hard. Take that punch. I should not have. That was a charge attack. That should not have been. Let me out! Could you not stomach me? I don't know why I have such a bad time with this. I should not even bother to charge attack there. I don't like getting in cotton corners here. I wish I'd known. All right, slowly strafing to the side seems to. You don't really seem to know what to do about that, except for you can attack faster than me because our weapon is slow. Is he dodging when I do that? I feel like he is. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna lose again. I'm just gonna keep throwing stuff at him. Yep. This is where I die. Cause homie doesn't stagger. Despite the fact that I'm using a giant ass weapon. Then he does a nine hit combo. Oh gosh, this is the worst boss in the game so far. Because it's the only one where I feel like I'm it, like it's not a hard boss, right? It's not a hard boss, but I'm still losing. Therefore, it doesn't feel satisfying to like be fighting. This is the only one so far that has felt like that. The other ones when I lost, I was just like, oh well, clearly it's because I keep miss you know, mistiming my dodges or whatever. This one, it's because, oh, he gets to just hit me, like, 11 times in a row, and then corner me, and then stunlock me. It, like, it sucks. I don't really like this. It, like, but again, I'm gonna reiterate, this is not hard. I don't care if I die 20 more times. This boss is not hard. It's just a little bit BS. Uh-huh, uh-huh, let me get, grab this. I can kind of get a perfect guard sometimes. Maybe I just need to learn how to do that consistently. I can't tell what's blood and what's oil. Mm, yep. Could you stop? My goodness. I wasn't able to, to knock him down because he doesn't give me a chance to do a charge attack literally ever. He just, oh, dude, he can interrupt all my stuff, but I can't interrupt him, like, at all. So dumb. Could you not stunlock me in a corner? Because when I try to dodge, and then it doesn't let me dodge. Surviving is a hell of its own. Oh, gosh. I'm, like, not doing that much damage, either. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, there you go. One, 
Get out of here. I wish I hadn't run away. Oh, I think I destroyed I destroyed his weapon. Because I, I just got an achievement for destroying his weapon. Which means that he probably shouldn't do that much damage to me now. Oh yeah, he doesn't do that much damage to me now. Well, if I lose here, then I have no, nobody to blame but myself. Okay, except for when I try to dodge and it doesn't fucking dodge! What the fuck?! I don't understand. Sometimes I just hit the dodge button and it just stands still. I have stamina. Oh my gosh. I'm still gonna lose this stupid fight. Please die. How are you still doing damage to me? I thought you had a broken weapon. I'm trying to dodge. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I hate this so much. There, at least I got some health back. There we go! Wow, what a terrible boss. I hated every second of that. Oh my gosh. I was afraid to die. I don't know if I'm the only one to have that experience or not. Probably. I bet everybody else just comes down here, you know, perfectly guards, like, every single one of his hits. You know, has no issues whatsoever. And it, like, never even dies. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so that connects back here. Alright, so I kind of want to just, um, teleport back to the Stargazer. Uh, let's just go to the hotel, because I'm probably going to want to level up. Oh, I have a quartz as well. I can go, uh, upgrade one of the P-Organs and get myself an extra heal. Yeah, it's not a bad boss. I just didn't like it. I hope, I hope that will get conveyed good enough. Because, like, clearly I wasn't playing great, but, like, that that's one of those different differences between, like, subjectively bad versus, like, objectively bad. Like, objectively, objectively, it's not really that bad of a boss. I mean, it's kind of in a tight room, and I, I still don't understand why, like, sometimes I was just not able to dodge, despite the fact that I had stamina. I don't know if you can't dodge when you're guarding. I feel like you, I could be four, so I'm not entirely sure. But, um... It just wasn't a fun experience for me, so I didn't really like it, but that's my subjective opinion. Um, yeah, so can I actually go up here I, I just for, for science? Okay, not quite. Phase 2 needs to be activated, because I need two or three of these. I don't remember how many of these I need. Oh, maybe I need all of them before I can move on. Uh, but either way, we're going to go ahead and do this. So, let's see. Um... Guard regain recovery while when attacking enemies. What is it? I, I don't actually really know what that means. Uh, lower the damage received. Received when dodging. That's... Pff, I don't know. That's probably fine. Alright. And now we have an extra healing thing. Oh, okay. So I only need two of them to unlock the phase two. Okay, and a lot of them are probably going to be... Well, what are these? Enables dodging when on the ground? Huh? What do you mean? Can I not already dodge when I'm on the ground? Is that a different type of dodge? Retain guard... Oh, wait. Oh, add amulet slots. Okay. Good stuff. Because that's staggerable window. And that's adding fable slots. I mean, a lot of these are still really good. So, we'll see. But, uh, okay. I'm going to... Be 22.13 to level up. And I can already level up once. I do want to see if I can consume enough ergo to level up more than once. So if I consume, like, four of these... Mm, probably, like, one more. I think I'll be able to level up twice. I'm still interested in this fire axe thing but I don't know for sure I also don't know how much of my current weapon I can like use in a new we weapon like I might not be able to use the motivity crank again 
Uh, stamina. Should I just do both in stamina? I'm considering it. I'm gonna do stamina, vitality. Alright, that works. Um, yeah, let me see if I can figure out a little bit about how this works. Like, how much can I... So if I, if I try to, like, alter this... So I, I can't... I don't have a, an altering material. Which means that if I try to assemble a weapon, I probably lose the this blade here, right? Because what's my... What are my current weapons? This is the electric coil stick handle. But it's... it's Yeah, it's boosted by, like, motivity. And I don't think I can... Oh, I can disassemble. Whoa, 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 wait. Do I dare try? If you disassemble weapons, they will be unequipped. It doesn't say that I get my motivity crank back, though. So I, I, I'm, I'm a little worried about that. Interesting. Cause it's like a part of me wants to try and uh, see what I can do with the, with this fire axe, maybe. All right, I, I'm gonna assume that I can't get. Uh, my, my thing back. But I can sort of see how this axe feels. To see if I even want to try and go down this path of, like, maybe trying to use it a little bit. Okay. That's, it kind of takes a while to charge up like that. I also don't think that this is actually doing any fire damage. Despite what it says. Um... Hey, that's like a decent. Alright, so I'm definitely not using this like as is. I also don't really see that it's that much better than just the uh like the the blade that I have. The um the saber blade. I think I would go back to that before worrying about this. But okay. Alright, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stick with this. I do think this weapon is still perfectly fine. It's just uh for enemies with like faster attacks and smaller hitboxes, like humanoids and stuff. Probably not the best, but it might still be perfectly fine for like bigger enemies. We'll see. Uh we are going to go back here. Um I'm gonna go here really quick because of the uh the the, the fireball running down the hill. There was a, an item at the bottom of that, and I do want to go see what that item is. Uh, and then I need to figure out where to actually go. No, I know where to go. I know where to go. Okay. I know where to go. But I want to do this before I get so far away that I forget about this. Let's get you there. Alright. Let the, let the ball come rolling down. Alright, and then I'm going to go. Got it. Oh, okay. Oh, I can actually make it back alive. Interesting. And that was just for an ergo fragment. Looks like it just goes down into some sort of poison swamp. I don't know that I want to go trying that out. So I'm just going to teleport to this one because this one is a little bit closer to where we need to go, which is for progress. So we did find the mad doctor that was like making experiments or whatever. Uh, Dr. Cureall, or whatever was his name was. That was the survivor. And now we just need to find Vanini. Um, find the big boss of, of the area, potentially. I feel like we are getting close. But who knows? Alright, so yeah, this is, this is the way forward. Right here. Okay. Uh huh. Quite insulting. Where are you? Where Where are you? All right. I guess you're not gonna show yourself. Okay. There's a There's another big guy up there. One and two. I can never actually like sneak up to get like a backstab on anybody. I've been picking picking up some moonstones. I could uh, be improving my weapon. Ah, uh, you're gonna throw stuff. I'm, I don't like that. Nope. 
behind you. No big guy, no. I said no. I don't think there's anybody else throwing stuff at me. Did he take damage from something? I was so early. Wait, this is what I want to do. Ow. Now I can heal five times. I'm so early at that. Stop taking so long. Ow. Now I'm overheated. Rude. There and there. Now I gotta heal again because of the overheat. Oh, got it just in time. There we go. This should be enough to kill. No, not quite. But this will. There we go. Ooh, another converter and a hidden moonstone. Alright, let me look at my equipment. Uh, the converter. Okay, so that's this. So, physical damage. Fire damage. Reduces by a lot. Okay, so it's a little bit better for fire resistance. Sure. I, I, I have a feeling that whatever boss we come up on is probably going to be doing some sort of fire damage. Based on everything that's been laid out about this area so far. So we came from the other way. So this is the way forward, I think? Oh, is that a stargazer? Or is that just something on the ground? No, that's a that's a stargazer. Oh no! That's not a star stargazer, that's a um a summon. Okay, wait a minute. I only have like one heal. I am probably going to go uh, fight whatever boss is inside there. This is the big boss of the area. Uh, however, before I do that, let me just make sure. So this is this is my boss run. It's just through here. Okay, so it isn't like the shortest path ever. But it's not the longest boss run. I do want to see what is, what is this way. Yeah, this is some extra stuff. A star fragment. Maybe there's something back here that connects back to, uh, somewhere else. Oh. Oh, hello. Stargazer. I'm glad I went looking. There we go. Hello. Oh, easy now. Don't need to kill me. Surely we can discuss this like reasonable... We sure can. Hello, Vanini. Geppetto's a friend of yours. Did he send you? He sure did. I, I'm, uh, I'm fine. Please, help me find my butler, Pulcinella. Oh no, was that the boss? He's a puppet and a friend. Those stalkers were supposed to be working for me, but... Uh, well, they bolted and left me to my fate. That was not helpful. My butler went to barricade the back door, uh -huh. and I haven't seen him since. Uh oh. Pulcinella has been a loyal companion. I'd hate to lose him. The factory is, of course, my priority. We must take it back. But please, keep an eye out for my... For my butler. I'd consider it a personal favor and owe you in kind. Alright. We got fear. Good to know. I already had that. Before all this... Uh, this chaos... Fuoco was the puppet in charge of the furnace. Maybe Fuoco's who were fighting. He was a stand-up fellow once. Now, not so much. I'm told he's still building an army of puppets and marching them on the cathedral. How did this nightmare come to be? Okay, yeah, Please. that's that's probably the boss. You must stop him before he does any more harm. All right. I will do my best. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Stargazer. Cause now I got my heals back. Uh let's let's go. So this is now our boss run, which is a lot more manageable. Oh, speaking of more manageable. I can uh come right up here. Oh yeah. Please please stop. Oh, Descartes note? 
Public cannot refuse the grain covenant and printed upon manufacture. It must obey uh, creator's orders and cannot harm humans. But look at that puppet that was once called Fuoko. Is the grand covenant flawed? The once faithful puppet now kills humans. It creates puppets instead of fire. It obeys something else other than humans. It's as if someone is controlling it or has a mind of its own. As if there's a king of puppets somewhere. Ooh, maybe? Is it pretending to be human? Is it a simple defect? This requires further investigation. It's surprising. Fuoko's actions are not simple obedience, but faith. Fuoko worships something that is God. I heard, I heard there's the King of Puppets on Rosa Isabella Street. That must be what is controlling the puppets of Krat, but a puppet having a human ego is a problem from another dimension. There's still a puppet secret that I don't know about. Ergo is probably the key. Those guys are awakening like humans more quickly as days go by. Someone has to stop them before it's too late for the sake of all humans. Alright. Alright. We are, we are learning a bit about our enemy here. Let's go see how hard this enemy is. Um, I'm definitely not expecting an easy boss. So let's let's a go. <clears throat> Ooh, baby. Introduce yourself. Ooh, big boy of steel. I feel like your attacks are gonna hurt. Okay, you're even bigger than I thought. Here we are. King's Flame Fuoco. Ow. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh gosh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. That's uh, a little bit more than I was expecting. Okay, let's, uh... Okay, you just missed. Oh, I tried, I tried. He was seeming so easy at first. One and two. I'll I'll heal again. I want to I want to see everything I can from you. Woo! Two. All right, you just kind of spin and spin out fire. One and two. I, like, I knew that I couldn't dodge it, but I still tried anyway. Okay. The music is kind of crazy. I dodged, but I was literally just like a half second uh, too soon. Okay. Alright, this is... Ooh, alright, that does some damage. Alright, okay. I got an idea. I got an idea. <laughs> I just gotta learn some of the uh, the attack patterns and all that, but... Doesn't seem to be impossible. Which is encouraging. Alright, let's try this again. Gosh, I don't know the timing on that at all. Okay, that's the spin. I just kinda wanna stay, stay away from the spin. That was not the, the button I wanted to hit. I wanted to do this. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, one. Gosh! I don't know the timing on that at all. Okay, there's that one. Okay, that killed me? Yeah, it did. I think I got cornered a little bit, but I also need to get the timing of literally any of these red attacks. Because if I'm going to get hit by all of them, then it's not going to be a successful one for me. I shouldn't be reckless, because if I fall into that green vat of liquid, it's probably not going to end well for me. <clears throat> With such a big boss arena, you would think that I wouldn't find a way to get myself cornered, but alas, I still did. 
There we go. I blocked one. Are you proud of me? He doesn't have a lot of, uh... There we go, I got it. He doesn't have a lot of, um... Like, multiple, uh, uh like, follow-up attacks. Like, his, 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 like... He hits once. He doesn't have, like, two, three-hit combos very much. At least not right now. No, I don't like that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, now he's using his fire a lot more. Okay, all right, hold on. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay. Hold on, this is actually a... One, two, and three... Ooh. Oh gosh, that scared me. Woo! Oh, so that combos with the oil that he puts down. That makes sense. Okay, I was a little early. Oh no, oh no. Wait, is that Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna light the ground on fire. What? Oh he does like the whole arena, dude. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm dead now. Yikes! He lights like the whole arena on fire. Is there anything I can do about that? Like I need to pay somewhat attention as to like where the oil is going but like ooh that one's a little rough that one's a little rough overheat occurs yeah 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 but the character monster take fire over natural HP recovery uh okay higher your fire resistance I could have um let's let's replace this on the belt with the, one of those purification ampule things. Uh, special, oh, remove special, oh, I only have one. Special ampule that petrified the post attribute status ailment. Oh, removes overheat, okay, okay. And this is for shock, break, and disruption, which is different than these. All right, so I do have five of these, okay. That way, if I can't dodge it, if I end up in a situation where I just can't, uh, dodge the overheat, I can at least heal it, like, right away. Part of me really wants to try and see what happens if I just, like, fall into the... into the green liquid there. I'm gonna give it a couple more attempts, because I think I have the ability to do it. However, for the sake of the playthrough, if it takes too long, then I might just have to try out one of these summons. Just because I don't want to be here forever. But this guy is pretty fun. Oh, I did not think you had a follow-up attack. What happened to when you didn't have a follow-up attack? I thought that was the other one. I'm playing so much worse this fight. I feel like I should just let him kill me at this point. Alright, that one I tried to guard. I was just late. Yeah, he's gonna light the ground on fire now. Yeah, he just lights the entire ground on fire. Even without the oil. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna give it one or two more chances and then I'm just gonna I'm gonna summon a, a helper. I, I I keep trying to go for Oh. I keep trying to uh he has the flashing health bar. And I'm like, now would be a great time to get a charge attack off, but then I just can't get myself in a situation to, to actually get one off. When I need it. I don't have that much stamina. Two. Come on. Nope. Okay, you went the wrong way.
Come on. And again. What? I knew that. I saw that coming. I'm glad I used two things to cure overheat. It really didn't end up helping all that much. Take that. Ow! Whoa, 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 not, not the fire to the face. No. I have no stamina. Help, help. Oh, I needed the perfect guard there to get a chance to heal. I think I ruined it, yeah. I ruined it. All right, the overheat status is actually kind of bad. Like, it's... All right, the status isn't bad. The fact that you can't avoid getting affected by it is kind of bad. I'm going to try I'm gonna try my best to, to not get affected by it in this fight. Like, uh, if I make it to where he does the, the transition like that, I'm going to go literally opposite side of the arena and see if I am able to just avoid it. Because if I'm not able to avoid it, then that is a legitimate criticism that I have. Uh, because curing the overheat doesn't really seem to do much. Because when I cured it, I just got overheated again because the ground was still on fire. Uh, and then I still took enough damage that even after using both of them twice, I still ended up having to heal twice. So it didn't really do much in that situation. Also, what what's the deal with this like second dodge that I supposedly got? Because I feel like I haven't been able to tell the difference ever since I got it. I died. I literally blocked at the perfect time, but okay. All right, opposite end of the arena. All right, there is a safe space, technically. Ow. Dang it. Why did I just let that happen to me? Uh, I need like five more heals for this fight. I like this fight. I don't know if I like it as much as like the Scrapped Watchmen right now. I like it better than the Survivor just because I feel, a lot of times I do feel like there are things that I could be doing to, to like win. Like, there, there are very clear times when I get hit by an attack where I'm just like, oh, my timing was off. I was too early or too late. Like, I, I can tell that, uh, like, as it's happening. So, that's basically the bare minimum of what you need out of a good boss in one of these games. Is for it to feel like there was something that you could have done by playing better. Uh, which, generally, there has been. Okay, I was gonna let's say, please stop with your... Spinning. There and there. I said stop with your spinning. I know that wasn't actually like the same thing as your spin attack, but it was close enough. I need to get out of you. That one, I think my, my double dodge might have actually saved me there. Oh, that was a long... Oh, no. Yeah, here's where I die. I can't let him get the distance on me. Stop. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It's as soon as he gets distance on me. I just... I don't have a good way to, uh, to deal with him there. Uh... All right, you get one more proper attempt, and then I and then I summon help. Because I'm doing a playthrough, I can't. I refuse to have like multiple like episodes in a row be like me fighting one boss. Maybe if it's like the final boss or something, maybe. But like, there needs to be some sort of flow and progression in a YouTube playthrough. So I don't know why I'm justifying myself, but yeah, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna resort to summons mostly for time reasons. 
because I don't have hours and hours to dedicate to fighting a boss. And I mean, if I did that, it would then have to become like a bunch of different episodes and I don't think anybody wants to watch that. No. Ow. Ow, screw off. I healed. I hit the heal button and it just didn't heal. I don't know what you want from me. I think that's an Xbox thing. Where it's like, I, I, I just hit the button, but because maybe I tapped it instead of like holding it with like, you know, five tons of force, it doesn't count as a button press. So therefore, I got screwed out of that one. I don't think I got screwed out by the game. I do think I got screwed over by Xbox. Because I, I should have been able to heal and at least give myself a chance. That's very unfortunate. I actually thought that one was going to be the one. And now this is going to probably feel like a cheap victory because I definitely have the ability to do this. But if I'm going to keep getting screwed over by, you know, things outside of my control, then it is what it is. All right, let's see how much these even help. Because I've, I've heard that these, uh, these things only, like, kind of help. I don't know if I have to wait for a thing to appear here or if it's going to appear when I walk in. Let's, let's find out. Uh, but I've heard these, like, these little summon thingies. These specters only kind of help, but a lot of times they die before, like, the end anyway. So we'll see. I think the extra damage and just getting towards the end faster with more heals is going to be the biggest thing. Also, people might be completely lying because this seems like it's making everything completely easier. But maybe that's only for, like, end game bosses. What are you doing? I was like, you're barely even attacking me. And that. And that. Oh, gosh. I didn't think you were going to do that already. Okay, so it is just, like, the same area, no matter what. Oh, the Spectre probably just, like, dies to, like, overheat, maybe. But I haven't... Oh, gosh. I was in the middle of an attack. Okay, so the Spectre still dies when the boss gets to, like, the harder phase. It is very interesting. Ow. It is very interesting. I was going to say that. Oh, we haven't gotten one of these yet. Seriously. There we go. Okay, I still, I still got the heal off. One and two and that's fine. I will get overheated every day of the week. All right, all right. You know what? The the specters do help you get past the um the sort of initial thing, but you do still have to conquer like the harder phase on your own. So, all right. I don't feel like that bad if I need to use them moving forward, but uh, that is going to be sort of the process. Is like I'm going to give you know many attempts uh, on on my own before using it. Um. I didn't really look at what I what I just picked up. Uh, what did I? Yeah, I mean, surely I got the the King's Flame Ergo. That's that's fine. High powered flame amplifier. Okay. Wait, what? Was that a different Legion arm? Okay, so I can use that to get a Legion arm, I think. Okay. Uh, I don't think there was, like, one other thing that I got. But I do not remember. I don't think any of these are new. Oh, I have three amulets. But I think I only have two slots right now. Oh, survivor's mask. No, I like my donkey mask a little bit more. Uh, okay, yeah, I don't remember. I might just look at the video to see, like, what else I got. 
because uh, I, I, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I was going to use the Stargazer and go back, but I feel like that might actually cause like cutscenes and stuff to happen. So I'm actually going to end off right here, and um, then on the next time I will go back, level up. Maybe I need to go back and talk to Vanini. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. There might be something extra here as well. Yeah, it looks like there's a little bit uh, forward as well, whether it's more to this area, whether it's just a little secret or some more treasure, I don't know. But we're going to do that all on the next time because this has gone on long enough. I probably edited it down a little bit uh, for the video, but uh, this, is, this has been pretty long for me. So... Um, hopefully you've enjoyed and are looking forward to more. If so, let me know, but I'll see you the next time. So until then, peace out.